Hi, thanks to everyone for coming to our Code Canva Java team demonstration today. I assume that you have already attended the Code Canva Node team's presentation yesterday. And you may be wondering what is the difference between our two groups' product is. Long story short, their product is to customer, while our product is to business. We will provide more details in the following section. Our Agile team consists of eight developers and we do not have any DevOps engineer. Here is our profile. Please feel free to connect us through the LinkedIn or GitHub. This presentation will be constructed in eight parts and is expected to take 12 minutes. Each group member will be mainly responsible for presenting one section. Firstly, let me introduce the purpose of our products. Customizing outdoor courts that you have created is possible with Core Canva. We offer an online design service for the tennis and basketball courts for both your home and business. After the client has completed the design and submit the order, franchise order allocation is the main focus of our project. The left circle of an order can be managed by the franchise. It keeps track of all data and operations, including accepting and rejecting orders, as well as viewing order details and assigning them. The following video will give a quick overview of our website's features. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. My teammate Kerry will introduce the next section. Hi everyone, I'm Kerry. I will now introduce our front end text structure. We have chosen Next.js as our front end framework and utilize the kitchen feature from Turbo Repo. Our main UI was constructed by Chakra UI. In the meantime, we also modified the styles of various UI components provided by the Chakra UI and save those customized components into Storybook for further use. We use React Cook Form to implement the form validation. 
As for the front end testing, we use React testing library and just to accomplish this task and achieve 100% coverage of the main function. Talking about backend, we use the Java tech stack version 17. We use the Spring Boot framework to build backend project. Spring security is used to implement JSON web tokens. We used Spring Data JPA as object relational mapping. We used the PostgreSQL database to store data, and Flyway is used to migrate database and control database versions. For backend API, we used Spring to implement Rust API. For testing, we used JUnit and Makito to run tests. Gradle is our build and automation tool. We use Docker Compose to set up development environment. Thanks. Okay, this is our database migration with eight tables. Each franchise can have multi stops and connected with an CC employee who approved it. Between franchisee and suburb, it's a many to many relationship. We need to create an intermediate table of duty area to store their associations. Each franchisee can accept multi orders for the state in the order table. We plan to use a message queue to get it from the node group, but it's still in progressing. Finally, we use Flyway to achieve the migration. Next slide, we need to introduce our workflow. To manage the project and collaborate within the team, we have used Git to do version control, GitHub as the hosting platform, Jira to implement Agile methodology to deliver increments. I'll mainly introduce our GitHub and Agile workflow. To automate our software development workflow in the repository, we have used GitHub Actions. GitHub Action is a CI CD platform that allows us to automate our build, test, and deployment pipeline. We have created workflows that build and test every push and pull request to our repo and deploy merge pull requests to our UAT environment. There are certain requirements for each pull request. For example, you need to provide acceptance criteria, screenshots of working function, no merge conflicts, error crashes, good code quality, and at least two approvals from your teammates with proper code review. Next page, please. Jira has been used to plan, track, and manage our Agile and software development project. This is the Agile workflow that we follow. An issue will be either created or brought from the backlog to the to-do list. Once the developer starts working, it will be put in the in-progress list. If it is blocked by other issues, then it can be placed in the backlog and brought back later. Once the code is finished, you need to seek code review from your teammates and get two approvals. Afterwards, it will be put into ready to test and the BA will test in the UAT environment. Finally, it will go to ready to release and be released in production. Thank you. Hi, this is Sian, and I will discuss the highlights in our project. As for Storybook, it can create organized UI systems, making both the building process and the documentation more efficient and easier to use. Once we create a story file, we can then easily import our component and create various use cases. We have completed the creation of the story for the button and other UI components are under the design. By applying it, we can write more stories and increase the reusability of code in our subsequent development. And also we achieved 100% test coverage for both front end and back end. All the codes need to peer reviews before merge. It encourages all the members to review others' code. We also have GitHub action for CI tests and the Sauna Cloud is implemented for code scanning and analysis. Next slide, please. And for Turbo Repo, it is an incremental build system optimized for JavaScript and TypeScript script. It first creates a mono repo to manage the development build and the release of multiple pro project packages using a single project code base. One table repo checks for change to the contents of a file. It generates a hash based on the contents for compar comparison. Rather than using a rough timestamp to determine what needs to be built, this allows the previously generated scripts to be reused to in increase the efficiency of CI. 
in the progress of building the front end, we consider the possibility of extending new project packages in the future. And in order to unify the UI style, we will probably use the UI style of existing projects. At this point, we put the used UI components into Chakra UI so that UI can be extracted as a separate component library, increasing code reusability. And that's all. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please go ahead.